Welcome back to Medrash Umaisa, sharing a story for this week's Parsha, Parsha Svayeshev, which is also going to be Shabbos Hanukkah. After the first Slonim Rebbe, the Sod HaVodah, passed away, so there was a discussion among the Talmudim, the close Hasidim, about who would be the next Rebbe. There were two grandchildren. The Rebbe's son did not want to be Rebbe, but there were two grandchildren, both great men, most of the Hasidim tended towards Rav Moshe Mordechai, and uh, it seemed that he would become the next Rebbe. However, among the Talmudim, the Yesod HaVodah was a very special Hasid. Rabbi Shlomo Botaner, they said, was a, a Baal Ruach HaKodesh, a person who had the Ruach HaKodesh, who had also learned under the Kabrina Rebbe, and he was in favor of Rav Shmuel becoming the Rebbe, and he eventually did. He was known as the Divrei Shmuel. And he pushed that this would be the choice. I'll mention parenthetically that the Divrei Shmuel really didn't want to become Rebbe. He felt his brother should be Rebbe. He even traveled to enlist the help of other Abonim to back his brother instead of him. Now, there was a great Chassid named Reb Moshe Midner, a famous Slonimer Chassid, who came over to Rav Shlomo Botner and he said, why is it that you're in favor of the Divrei Shmuel, Rav Shmuel becoming the Rebbe instead of Rav Moshe Mordechai? He, Rav Moshe Bindu, was very close to Rav Moshe Mordechai. He said, I'll tell you a story. Now, the story I'm about to tell, I saw two versions of it, and uh, I'll try to bring both. Rav Shlomo said, once I saw something with this young man, the Divrei Shmuel, that convinced me that he had the necessary ingredients to be a Rebbe. It was Erev Shabbos Hanukkah. Now, on Shabbos Hanukkah, by the Yesod HaVodah, the first Rebbe, all the Hasidim would come to be with him for, um, for Shabbos Hanukkah. And the custom there was that the Hasidim would um, go and daven mincha first. In other words, they would set up their Hanukkah, they would set up the menorah with the oil and the wicks beforehand. They would go daven mincha together with the Rebbe, and then they would go back to where they were staying or their homes to light Ner Hanukkah, and then run back again in order to see the lighting of the Rebbe of the Yisod HaAvodah. Now, Shlomo said that he was a guest in, a, in the house of Reb Shmuel, and Reb Shmuel used to spend a lot of time preparing the Ner Hanukkah. For those people with knowledge of the Kisvei Hari, the writings of the Arizal, there are many kavonas, many things which a person is supposed to be focusing on in the making of the wicks from cotton, in placing the wicks, in placing the oil in the cups, and he took hours preparing this. Then, after he prepared it, he went to Davin Mincha, and he came back, and the two versions are either children had knocked over his menorah, or that another person who was going to be a guest in the house came in and he saw that a menorah was all set up and he thought, what a wonderful host. He had in mind to set up a menorah for me already and he just came in and lit those candles then. Rav Shlomo said he was watching the Divrei Shmuel throughout and without flinching, he simply said, the same HaKadosh Baruch Hu who told me to light told me not to be upset. And he went and he took some plain oil, quickly put his wicks and oil in there without time for all of these kavonas. It was Erev Shabbos, and he lit happily and continued on. Rav Shlomo said that a Rebbe is supposed to be what's called in Yiddish Aguta Yid. A good Jew meaning one who does good for people, one who doesn't get upset with people, one who tries to help people. He said, in the way that he handled that situation, I saw his potential for greatness. And in fact, he did become the Rebbe. It's important to remember that on all special times, there are always challenges. And sometimes our desire to make the special times, like Hanukkah, as special as possible. And we prepare things in the way that we want. If something happens, we have to realize that it's HaKadosh Baruch who made that happen. And to take that in stride and to realize that the way he wants me to celebrate Hanukkah is what he decides not necessarily what I decided. Wishing everyone a wonderful Shabbos and a wonderful Lichtige Chanukah.